Corona College campus and today I'm going to get two strangers to go on a blind date. Last time I did this, I was in Oregon and now I'm in Utah. I flew my friend Noble out of Oregon with me to find him a blind date, but it wasn't easy getting there. We were met with our first challenge and that was almost missing our flight. Better be the best date. <laughs> I knew immediately making this video was going to be a challenge, and it was. With just a few minutes to spare, we made it onto our flight and made our way down to Utah. So I'm here with my friend Noble. Noble and I have ironically only been friends for how long? Less than a year. He is my friend whom I am going to get a date for. Noble, <laughs> uh, to give the audience, I guess, a 411 of who you are. Who's Noble? I was born at a very young age, just to turn 22 a little bit ago, and Never had a girlfriend still. <laughs> so that's a, that's some that's some dating background for you, I guess. So Noble's one of my friends, and just like he said, he's never dated anybody before, and we are here in Utah. We are going to be going down to Provo to get him, the girl of his dreams. Explain, like, give us your resume. What do you look for in a girl? Somebody who is loyal, who has a good sense of humor, you know, get married someday, someday, you know, settle down, more attracted to, like, brunettes and, and blondes. So just everyone yeah. except for redheads <laughs> what is your biggest green flag and your biggest red flag in a girl I don't know, I'm, a, I'm a very religious person myself so I would say who's a, someone who's committed to God who's uh, who's loyal who's you know doesn't uh, doesn't conform to the world and doesn't want to give in and you know drop their standards for uh, for at the drop of a hat and on a scale of one to ten how confident do you feel that I will get you a date ten out of ten <laughs> <laughs> oh God Gone. <laughs> the reason why I want to film this video is because I want to prove this statistic wrong. In the United States alone, over 50% of marriages end in divorce, which sets the United States in top 10, sitting at number six in the entire world. And they also say dating is taking a hit, especially among the members of Gen Z, which I myself am a part of. Some say COVID has impacted the individual's behaviors because of the restrictions and lockdowns. This makes 47% of my generation more likely to be socially anxious when talking to another person. That's like saying about half of my generation is not dating because they are scared to talk to other people. And also another thing about Gen Z is they simply just aren't dating because they're more focused on their careers. Currently 8.30 consist of going and interviewing people on campus there is a slight problem it's supposed to be thunderstorms today so i'm hoping that just passes and it's finals week for students we got a lot against us but we are gonna make it work also check out this room i'm staying in even with the odds against us, we still took our chance and headed out to bring together two strangers on a date. We first made our rounds on the BYU campus for day one. This was the toughest day of them all. We walked and walked, finding nobody to talk to. We went over the entire campus until we finally ran into somebody who could give Excuse us me. some hope. Do you know where like any good places where like a ton of people hang out at are on campus? The student center, like, this area you can see from here. Where the... Okay, so over there. Okay. Any other, like, areas? I'm not sure right now where a lot of people are. Kind of behind that tower. Okay, so we got that tower and then that tower. Yeah. Gotcha. Thank you so much. So we just talked to somebody that was pointing us in that direction. I did say that we were able to find some students there. We were kind of in that general area, but we did not check that. And then there's a building over there where they said we could also find people. So fingers crossed, they look like they're not giving us really any hope right now. Yeah, if this doesn't work, we have two more campuses we're gonna try out because I need to get Noble, who's behind the camera. I need to get him a date because this, this needs to work, guys. I need to show you how dedicated I am, okay? Back on the hunt. And so the hero went back on his adventure, retracing the steps of despair until a light came shining and hope Does seemed to have me? been found. I'm like whispering. How is it? How is it? Cool. Excuse me? Yeah, her headphones. It's every time. Oh, sorry, I don't have time. Sorry. Okay, all good. Hey man, can I ask you a couple questions real quick for like two minutes of your time? Excuse me? Can I ask you like two, a couple, like two minutes of your time? It'll be really quick. Yeah. We're just doing a quick survey. So one of the questions is like, how is like the dating life on BYU? I feel like I can't speak for everybody, I'm like one person. But like, <laughs> I guess it's okay. I feel like, I feel like there's not a ton. I don't know, it's so different for everybody. Like I feel like there's some you talk to and they go like on tons of dates and there's a lot of group dates happening. But I feel like for some people, it's just like getting to know people and making friends and building connections. Have you ever been on a date with anybody on campus here? Was it, were they like good, were they bad? Yeah, I think it was a lot of fun. At least like with the people I've interacted with, of course you're always gonna get people that are kind of like jerks. Yeah. 
And we're also doing a little bit of a challenge with the survey where we're trying to get two strangers to go on a blind date. Okay. Would that be something you're interested in sure. doing? Really? <laughs> Let's go. Right on. What's your name? Lizzie? I'm Zach. Nice to meet you. So I got a friend who's the stranger. And so this is totally cool with you? Yeah. Well, Maybe. I need more information. I like don't want to just be like randomly thrown into something. When's a good time? We're, would either later today or tomorrow work for you? Is that what you're looking for? Yeah, because we're doing a survey for this weekend. Oh, dang it. I'm sorry, yeah. This so there's like no times that you're available tomorrow? Not that I can think of, no. Bro, almost first try. I almost got you a date. Dude, this is... Almost first try. Hey, can I ask you guys a few questions for like two minutes of your time? Doing a quick survey and social experiment. Are you guys together by any chance? Or friends? Or? Actually, we're siblings. Siblings? She's going to go I go to BYU. You go here. He's just I'm here for the kids camp. camp. You're here for the kids He's camp. What, what was like the best date you've been on here? Best date? I went on a date with this guy who like made a scout. Let's get back to like. Wow. Yeah. It was like, you would go to one place and then there'd be like a home. Okay. And it would be the clue to yeah. find the next place. Okay. Super fun. Super creative. Right on. Right on. Right on. And then with that social experiment part that I told you, is what we're also doing is we're getting blind uh, dates set up between two strangers, and wow. uh, either today or tomorrow. We already have one stranger who agreed. Is that something you'd be willing to do? Uh, well, what would be the timing? <laughs> when are you available? Either today or tomorrow. That's the problem. <laughs> I'm working. A lot of people work. That's a very short kind of live survey even know social experiment. I would look for somebody else to speak to yeah. But, but. Gotcha. Uh, well, thank you so much for your time. What was your name? Thank you, Abby. Abby? I'm Zach. You guys have a good rest of your day. <laughs> Bro, almost. So close. And as we kept going around campus, we noticed that somebody was following us around, but yet it didn't stop us from trying. Hey, excuse me. Can I get a couple minutes of your time real quick for a survey? I'm here on BYU campus because I hear that the dating culture is a lot more successful compared to other colleges. Okay. And I kind of want to figure out why. So I'm on like a mission where I'm traveling the country right now to go visit other country, uh, not countries, campuses. So I want to figure out why. And so a couple of them are like a little personal questions just pertaining to dating life. Have you been on dates around here either recently or before you left and then do you think like true love still exists in today's time i think so yeah <laughs> how would you think it would portray itself like people sacrifice things for one another show their love i like that word sacrifice we're also doing a social experiment if you're down where we get two strangers to agree to go on a blind date together is that something you would be okay doing i don't know probably not right now but I appreciate it do you have any friends that may be interested that you want to try to Actually, potentially yeah. <laughs> can i get your contact information yeah for sure because we're going to be back down here cool and what's your name callie callie i'm zach nice to meet you zach I'll thank you, you. Know. have a good one you too All right, so now we are heading Utah Valley University. We got a couple of friends there that we're gonna meet up with real quick. We're gonna ride in style, baby. Let's do this, okay? We, we made our way around campus with I hopes only to be let down. With one day gone, we only had one more opportunity to shoot this video. We traveled back home with defeat. I stayed up almost all night coming up with a better plan. With time now on the doorstep, I had to get creative. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to day two, Operation Cupid. I kept feeling pulled back to BYU and to the interactions I had a day before. So we traveled back down south to give it one more go. On the train, I had an idea that could have changed the current trajectory of this video. Instead of doing it later, we had to commit now. They can do it later. That's a good idea. That's a sick idea. It's gotta work. It's we walked around campus with a new approach, hoping being a front would help the situation. Strangers that go on a blind date together, oh, and we're gosh. like, we're like trying to wrap up filming and everything. And we want to, we want to give people the opportunity to tell an interesting story and to take risks in life. And so we were wondering if that's something you'd be willing to do. I'm really sorry. I have to go get my ID. Oh, now anybody. Okay, it's a spontaneous video. Okay, so. sorry. Awesome.
dog. We're not giving up hope. We have, I have one more trick up my sleeve and it's going to work. All we have to do is just talk to more people, but there is a surprise at the end of this video. That is that trick up my sleeve and I think it might be the best bet. Yes, that is right. I had a trick up my sleeve and little do you know, this trick would be the grandest of them all. Ha ha ha. After feeling like I was given another L, later that night we went to the roller rink and hit things off. It was truly the best night of the trip. While we were having ourselves a good time, I turned around to see Noble going around with a girl. The plan had worked out and the date was then. My excitement couldn't be contained. It was as if the heavens aligned and everything was panning out how it was planned. But just as hope can be given, it can also be taken. Noble pulled me off to the side to tell me she actually has a boyfriend. My smile then faded, but I couldn't let that stop me, especially being in that moment, so I carried on. I was honestly considering ending the video right then and there. All that time and money spent only to come this far and to have hope taken from us at every opportunity left me feeling sad. I felt like I had let down my best friend and I was honestly discouraged a bit. Maybe I wasn't cut out to do this, but you know what they say, when you hit rock bottom, the only way is up and out of nowhere, a miracle happened. All right, so with all hope seemed to be lost. One of his friends like has a friend that would be down and they texted us today and we're doing something later today. Now we gotta figure out what we're doing because we walking away with our heads down, but Clock didn't strike zero. Let's go, baby. And with that, hope was restored. The date was set and Noble went on his way. He dropped us off to pick her up and we set up to hide and saw them pull up. There he got out a blanket and some snacks for a picnic and there she appeared. Noble's blind date. We were there for hours on end. Both Noble and his date talked and talked. Of course, I had to react to it. YouTube's greatest wingman, baby. I was happy. The payoff was great and the evening was beautiful. They weren't mic'd up, so I had no clue what they were even saying. I don't even know what they're saying. Even though I hadn't been in a relationship for four years now. You know what they say. Butchers don't play. After some time, they finally got up to move and went on a nice evening stroll. I've learned a lot throughout this video. In order to make things work, you have to fail first. The stress and money, the feelings of sadness were all worth the price of this success. I don't know, maybe I should do this again sometime. But what I do know is love is never lost. You just have to keep moving and let it happen naturally. So who knows, maybe one day I'll go on a blind date of my own and could tell a spontaneous story. I